y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is serena hence the intro hence the channel name well i think this is vlogmas so not hence the intro but i guess hence the intro because it does still say it, but whatever that's so Rena, like that's so raven you get it corny i know but that's just how we are here period so i just did my hair and got dressed we are in florida for my uncle's um 20 year well my uncle and aunt's <laughs> 20 year vow renewal so we are here for that we just got here about an hour and a half ago to the airbnb but we've been in florida since three o'clock it seems so much later because daylight savings time but it's literally not even seven o'clock yet so yeah um i had a philly cheesesteak from the mall we stopped in on some springs and our airbnb is in orlando so we have to drive to Kissimmee for their airbnb so that we can um you know link up with the rest of the crazy stewards so um, I'm supposed to be doing the videography for the actual wedding ceremony tomorrow So I will show you a little behind the scenes on that for the vlog But yeah, I need to get a charger for this camera and I need to uh, What else do I need to do? Hmm. Something else I'm supposed to do. I don't know, but I hope to get an Instagram picture tonight. I don't know I like my outfit. It's just like one of those with the um, body on it you know, it just has like the body printed on it and on the back. Um, and then I'm wearing my rig only with them. So yeah, they said it. my aunt is saying that it's a pool party, but my uncle is saying there's a pool there and no one said it was a pool party. So I'm just going to bring my bins to just in case I don't know the vibes. I'm not there. And yeah, we're about to roll out now. So I just wanted to go ahead and start the video so you guys are not confused once all the commotion is going on. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys are liking vlogging so far and let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Broke up with my girl last night, so I went to the club. Put on a fresh white suit and a mini cup, sitting on dubs. I'm just looking for somebody to talk to and show me some love. knocked out all you see is an arm hello ready son son are you coming of course of course i didn't even know what's going on good morning vlog i have my sister's set on <laughs> yeah i didn't really care but <laughs> let's see what shane was doing huh Censor, censor. Quan. Quan's dressed. You're getting Starbies? You're showing my new panties to. You're yeah. getting Starbies? No. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to throw my sweatpants on top of my pajamas because I'm not ready to get dressed. We're just going to get um, Starbucks. Um. And Shannon wants to also get SIE bowl. Shay! Why is actually girlfriend speaking out? Yes. Excuse me? Um, They're not together anymore? No, this white woman is like, I'm speaking my truth. I just started watching it. Let me see. Yeah, SK. He has a white woman? Who the fuck? Go to it. I don't know if that annoying music. Let me see. He invites her to the visa. This is the text message. In 2021. This is 2021. You know they film a year in advance, I guess. This makes cool as a of old news. What? <laughs> Can you watch the video? Oh, sorry. Yeah, they're definitely at the same place. We left Ibiza and flew back to Madrid. Oh, access to his phone. Oh, and saw the word fiance. Who are these people? He said it was just for money. What, that show? Mm-hmm. I'm oh, pretty sure. We extended our trip and flew no, to London. No, you're lying. <laughs> right? 
look like she was forcing it anyway. She looked like she was just You saw the reunion she though? Like she made him feel a certain I mean he made her feel a certain way. Did you see the reunion though? Yeah. She don't want that nigga for real, bro. This is September. Yeah, you know, I didn't mean to my baby, baby, but once she get over that, oh that nigga's gone. <laughs> like once she started looking at the nigga every day, she gonna be like, Yeah, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't she like that. Yeah, favorite. I really don't like that. No, like I don't that. like that. We have made it to Starbeast. Have no fear. Starbeast is here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Almost jump out of the window. <laughs> y'all know what y'all want? Yeah. Well, order. I don't know what you want. Are we doing is separate checks? Any food? We have the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. Can I have two of those? Two Impossible Sandwich? Okay. Yes. And then can I have a um, ice white mocha? Ice white mocha? What size? Um, tall. And can I have vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top? I like it that way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you want the whipped cream still or no whipped no. cream? No. No whipped cream or okay. vanilla sweet foam on top? You're still feeling yes. it. Alrighty, what else are you? Can I get a tall... What is it? The caramel ribbon crunch. Yeah, a frappuccino. Yes. Can I get that with almond milk? Can Almond get... crunch, uh, almond milk. Can I make it a double? And can I get extra mm -hmm. caramel extra sauce caramel in there? Vessel. And I do want the whipped cream, please. And you do want the whipped cream. Okay, perfect. What else we got? Okay. okay. I'm gonna get. Now she looked good. <laughs> yeah, always. This well, is the issue. Show it to her. I don't want a cold brew though. Like I want the drink, but I don't want that much coffee because I'll be like this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Are you looking? Okay, just show this her the picture. This is what I'm looking at. Okay, I need less caffeine though. What did you even get? Rena. Oh, oh it's, a it's so little. Jesus. Boop. Starbucks cheers. Huh? What do you need? My drink. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right. We'll wait for you. Disrespectful, we'll wait for you before I pull off. Hold up the line for your cheers. That's what we do, bonding day. Oh, you know, bonding day. I don't mind. <laughs> Why? You're so rude. Oh, thank you. Why is she reaching oh, over the seat like that? Please. Yeah, and took me, doing all that to Tim and don't even have her drink. Oh, we're so cute. <laughs> doing all that to Tim and she doesn't even have her drink. Oh my like. God. Okay. Who tips before they get their shit? I mean, I mean <laughs> who tips before they I get their shit? You too. Don't be gorgeous. Look at that. You're filming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Me. Hi, guys. <laughs> How's it going? Getting behind the scenes. How do you feel? She good? Chilling? Okay. Okay. <laughs> more than I could ever ask for though it was said to be unconventional and have and though it was said to be unconventional we have persevered though we were faced with many obstacles you were always the only one that was always there for me in the lowest times and in the highest times we stuck together as a team hashtag us against the world and here we are 20 years later. It doesn't even seem that long, 
But when you're doing life with your best friend, time flies by. Steven, you know me better than anyone else in this world. And somehow you still managed to love me. When we got married, I had no idea on how to be a perfect wife, but you showed me how to be good enough just for you. To have a husband that listens patiently, caters to your needs and wants, protects and guides you, loves, cherishes and values you, raises amazing children with you, and raises a mansion with you and respects you is a woman's dream. Thank you for making that dream my reality. Thank you for being such an amazing, strong, kind-hearted man and for being an extraordinary father. You are so selfless in all that you do. You work so hard to provide and take care of our family. Thank you for allowing us to grow and evolve into who we are today and for even making this day happen because we couldn't 20 years ago. I'm so proud of you, of the man that you are, my man. Stephen, I bring myself to you this day to recommit my life to you. I promise to continue being a faithful mate and to unfailingly share and support your hopes, dreams, and goals. You are truly my best friend. You give me strength. You help mold me into the person I am today. Together, we have created a safe haven in our marriage from the chaos of the rest of the world. And in you, I have found comfort, joy, and peace. Stephen, I love you, and I grow more in love with you each day. I love you without knowing how or when or from where. I love you not for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. There are three words I feel that are just as strong or stronger than I love you. 20 years ago, I stood in front of you to say I choose you. Today, I stand in front of you to remind you that each and every day I still choose you. I choose you to share happiness with, I choose you to care for, I choose you to have a family with, I choose you to grow with, I choose you to love forever. Tamia describes in her song, still us best. Usually when two people are together for a long time, things seem to change. It's been said that nothing good lasts forever, but this love gets better every day. We get all excited inside that we get alone. When that we get alone, he still got love in his eyes and I still got love in my soul. Still feels like the first time we met, we still run around like teenagers even though we're grown and married with kids. And we still talk on the phone for hours when I'm away and he still writes letters and sends me flowers every other day. The question everybody asks is how we make it last. I tell them I still, he still. We still. Steven, I love you more than words can say. I love you like a love song. 20 years ago, we started writing our never ending love song. I want to thank you for continuing writing that with me. That's all you <laughs> <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> It had to be you. We met on July 4th, 2000. Fireworks. I knew from the moment I seen you, just like I see you here today, that I would not take our forever for granted. You meant so much to my life and so many other here's today. A godmother to many, amazing aunt, loving sister, and an unbelievable mother to the two best gifts you and God could have ever given to me, my son and my daughter. <laughs> I thank you and cherish those gifts. I thank you for your patience because I know sometimes I can be a handful to deal with. Pause for laughs. <laughs> but I love you for supporting me and holding me accountable for my actions as a husband and a father. Throughout this journey, my one constant has been you. I will not take our forever for granted. Today is just another demonstration of the love and dedication we have for one another. I vow to cherish you each and every moment and continue to build so I can never take our forever for granted. I wish I could turn back the clock 
and I'd find you sooner and love you longer. What we have is fire and it works. It works because it had to be you. After 20 years of marriage, please celebrate this renewal of vows with a kiss. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it is 9.13 in the morning. I don't even know if y'all can see me. It's pretty dark in my room. Not even dark, just gloomy. <laughs> but I said, let me pick up the camera because I don't even know when I stopped recording at the wedding. I wasn't drunk. I was mostly tired. Um, but it's now 9 o'clock in the morning. It's Sunday. I'm going to brunch. I forgot where the brunch even is at. Let me look. Mm. All right, it is at Mai Tai's Bang Brunch. Let me click it. Oh, Pashi. <sighs> 17 minutes from our Airbnb. So we decided to stay in Maitland area for our Airbnb. My sister and I and her boyfriend um so that's what we did but my dad and the rest of the family they all got like the super airbnb in downtown Orlando but everything we're doing has been out this way so I don't understand like the venue for the wedding was 20 minutes away the brunch 17 minutes away but if I was to leave here and go to their house it's gonna take me an hour and a half because of traffic and tolls but I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me because the most lit spot you want to be the closest to. So brunch and um, so brunch and the wedding, like you're going to be lit. So why wouldn't you want to be close to the lit location? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Once I get out this bed, this bed is so comfortable. But it's so tall. Like if I was to roll out this bed, I'd probably get a concussion. <laughs> That's how high up it is. But yeah. Bobby Josh. 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 Bobby